I'm going to show how to make a switch with a three-phase motor switch to reverse the motor, three-phase motor. It, it'll take your three-phase from your alternator and you can either put it in star or delta just with one of these switches. I'll show how to do that. I'll put a link for these. Get them on eBay. It's 63 amps. 63 amps at 660 volts. Move this where the light is better. So, see here, that's position 2, there's position 1, position 0 does nothing. Get my multimeter out here. There should be. If I connect them together, it'll look like that right now. So, what you want to do is just find number one. See, that's your number one position. And you can see on the number twos down here, they have no connection at all. It's completely off. So now, number two, you can see number one has no connection anymore. These two are connected. So I have another one of these switches here. I'll show you how. This is the wiring diagram. So this is the number one position right here. And this is the number two. Or no, this is the number two position. This is the number one position. That's just the diagram for the switch. But those are the two legs I was shorting out. And these two. So what you want to do is bring one set off of your three phase to this one like that. And that's it. That'll be your outputs. Have to come on this one. But on this number one terminal, you want to short all these ones out. So that's these ones here, you want to connect these all together. And then from this one here, you want to jump, have a jumper that goes all the way to this one. On all three of them. But like for this here, you have to make sure it's for your parallel, right? So it won't be these because if, if I was to connect this like the way it is, I'd just be shorting out these windings. So it, you just got to figure out which one you need to connect. Here's an old alternator. Here's you. I got this just for demo. See, I've got it wired up to the one. One part of it. This is a three phase. And here's the other one for star. These would be all connected together, right? But for three phase delta, they would have to be parallel with the other ones. So you would connect these to there, to those three. And then all you have to do is number one position is like this. That's in star. And if you want delta, all you would do is go like that. See these. Let's 
so it is these will go to your windings comes around here into this one for your number two here and these ones here are just shorted out for your star connection and your outputs would be connected to this winding right here these to the number two one input one right here has to be there because when you connect these and you put it in the number one position you short it out it's like having these connected and then you have your star connection with just these three outputs but when you put it to the number two position like that then it, it connects these to here and it parallels them so all you have to do is make sure you got the right winding so you don't short these out as the way it is I just drew it like this because it'd be easy to show you can see that one would connect with that one and it would short it out it wouldn't work but if you had that one there, it would work. Hope you get the idea. I know it's not very simple. It's kind of complicated to know, but probably help a lot of people out. So I've got a big Axel Fox turbine building here soon. So, oh yeah, don't ever buy your magnets from China either. This is what you'll get. See the different sizes. These are supposed to be half inch thick, they're not even a quarter inch. Completely different sizes. If you want good magnets, go to appliedmagnets.com and they will give you good magnets for a good price. And they are real N52s. Thanks for watching.